The Age of Singularity Will there ever be a time when the human brain and its cognitive abilities will be replaced by a computer? Can the forms of calculations that are found in a computer be able to go beyond the capacity of the neurons that are found in our own brains? The age of singularity is where the human brain will be replaced by computers. Some argue that artificial intelligence will be able to surpass our cognitive functions, while others contend that the human brain is endowed with elements of reflexivity and spontaneity that cannot be imitated by artificial intelligence. Is intelligence a simple way of computing or a specific response that we develop in response to the multiplicity of the raw data that is being inherited from the material world? In the modern world, one saw the introduction of a new form of rationality that has allowed human beings in order to exercise their dominance over the mysterious natural world. This has led into the downfall of the metaphysical system and in return a new scientific outlook that measured the nature of reality in quantitative terms was introduced. Such a form of instrumental rationality and its quantitative approach was further developed in terms of a technological rationality that has allowed controlling of the natural world and creating products in accordance with their needs. Now we are living in a world where there is a need to understand the impacts that technological development will likely have on future societies. The Age of Singularity is a world in which technological progress will lead into the replacement of human intelligence with artificial intelligence. It is predicated on the idea that in the future, human beings will not be able to control the very technology that they have created. A new realm of reality that is inhabited with autonomous self-intelligent beings will begin to appear. Could this result in the disappearance of the human race? Or can human beings succeed in controlling such a technology? It is argued that a machine that is more intelligent than human beings can be built. The question is, would such a machine act in an autonomous manner is simply replicate the orders that are given to it? At the heart of the debate about the age of singularity is the path that technological development has embarked on. Some argue that the development of technology is compatible with the development of the human race. Others contend that there will come an age where human beings will lose control of the things that they have created. Will human beings able to adapt to a world of superintelligence? Or can we use superintelligence in order to augment the cognitive abilities of human beings? Is the singularity an era where human beings will evolve through the remarkable changes that are made by technology? Or is it a stage where we will be ruled by the things that we have created? Are we able to reverse the path of technological development or it has already embarked on its own separate trajectory? Is the singularity a utopian world where human beings will enter a new stage that will allow them to build the perfect society? Or is it a dystopian future where the human race will become extinct as a result of its inability to control the path of technological development? Whatever it is, human beings must be able to predict the future impacts that technology will have. There is a need to incorporate a moral element to the path of technological development. This will help us see that technology will not be used in order to create a Frankenstein monster that will wreak havoc on the human race.